Hello and welcome back to another video of Robo. I'm Devashish, your host and host, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at this new Arduino Nano EXP32 board. We'll explore its key features, and finally, we'll be making a YouTube subscriber display just like this one. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's start our video by looking at all the features of this new Arduino Nano ESP32 board. In the heart of the board, we have a U-Block Sonora W106, which is based on the ESP32 S3 chip. It features a powerful 32-bit dual-core processor running at 240MHz, a 32KB RAM, 4MB external flash memory, 11 analog inputs, 19 digital IOs, and it has definitely support for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built-in. Other than that, this board features a 16 megabytes of external flash memory for your bigger and creative application. Now as we have little more understanding of the new Arduino Nano ESP32 board, we can move on to the most interesting part of the video which is building the YouTube subscriber display. We'll start by soldering the VCC, the ground, the DN, the clock and the CS pin. Then in the Arduino side, we'll connect the VCC to 3.3V pin, the ground to the ground pin. We'll connect the data pin to D13. We'll connect the chip select pin to pin 8. And we'll connect the clock pin to pin 11. So here we have our code. For this code, we have included all the required libraries, made instances, defined variables, Wi-Fi credentials, setup function, loop function, and the coding process was done. So if you want to check out the full details, do check out the link given in the description which will redirect you to another video of ours where I have went through the full details of the code. Similarly, you can also check out our blog where we have gone through in details about the project. Now that the coding process is done, we have made a 3D printed case and a lid for the case with the help of Fusion 360. We'll also cut an acrylic piece now when the laser cutting process, the 3D printing process is done, it will look something like this. As you can see, we have made the box in black, we have made the lid with orange and as you can see, it slides very easily. Uh, you can also see the acrylic sheet that we have placed on top of the box. So you can find all the designs, the 3D CAD files in our blog. So do check that out for more information. So when everything is assembled and everything is working, it will look something like that. As you can see, like uh, it looks really decent. It looks really cool. What one mistakes I have done is I didn't put connector, a power connector to the display. So I'm using some uh, red and black wires to power the module. If you like the video, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll be making this kind of projects in the future again and again. So stay tuned, stay focused and stay creative at Robo.in.